So some examples of proton NMR spectra. We'll have a look at integration, chemical shift and coupling and see how these are consistent with the molecular structure. Here's the spectrum for this molecule, uh, ethyl ethanoate. There are three types of hydrogen in the molecule and we can see three peaks in the spectrum. Uh, integration shows that one of these peaks corresponds to two hydrogens, so that must be the CH2 group. And the other two peaks correspond to CH3 groups. If we have a look at the regions, the chemical shift of the CH2 group is uh, between 3 and 4.5, so that's consistent with being on a group which is next door to oxygen. Uh, the CH3 groups don't have such a high chemical shift, they're in this region, and that's because there is no neighbouring oxygen for those two CH3 groups. And looking at uh, coupling, the three hydrogen singlet does not couple, and so must be the CH3 group on its own next to the carbonyl. That's the singlet. However, there is coupling between the other two groups. The CH2 group here, that's the CH2, that is split into a quartet. So this is split into a quartet by those three hydrogens on the neighbouring carbon. And this CH3 group is split into a triplet by the two hydrogens on this carbon here. A final example, working out the structure as we go along. Uh, bear in mind, you'd usually have the mass spec and the IR, but uh, in this case, we'll just go with the NMR spectrum. So this is the spectrum we're going to analyse. There are three peaks, so three different hydrogen environments. Integration shows that they correspond to two, one and three hydrogens respectively. And looking at the regions, we can see that these two are within the alkyl region, and this one's in the alkyl region but next to oxygen. So we could imagine that this three hydrogen is just a CH3 group, whereas this two hydrogen is a CH2 group, but uh, next to oxygen. If we look at the coupling, then uh, this one's a singlet, so no coupling. There's a quartet, and there's a uh, triplet. So that shows that the uh, OCH2 group and CH3 groups are next to each other. The CH2 group is split into a quartet by the neighbouring uh, CH3 group, and the CH3 group is split into a triplet by the neighbouring CH2 group, and the singlet doesn't couple. So here's the uh, solution, and it was the spectrum for ethanol. Uh, infrared would usually indicate the OH group, and uh, mass spec would give you the molecular formula to start with. But uh, proton NMR is useful in determining the number and the type of hydrogen atoms in the structure and the structure of the carbon chain. Okay, I hope you found these tutorials useful. Uh, thanks for watching.